Check this out. The scan on the left is a brain on optimism. On the right, you see that big red dot? That's anxiety taking over, and that's your brain on pessimism. When somebody's in a positive state of mind, you get greater levels of arousal and activation in the parts of your brain that make good decisions, the parts of the brain that scan the world for opportunities. When you feel more negative, when you feel more stressed, it turns out your brain is, is fragmented. The happier you are, the smarter? The, in a simpler way, the happier you are, the more you can use your brain to solve problems. Not only does happiness make us smarter, listen to how it affects business. Productivity goes up 31%. You're 40% more likely to get promoted, and sales shoot up 30%. Hey, how are you? John Ferris caught that happiness bug. John is the CEO of pharmaceutical giant Sanofi's Canadian office in Montreal. And he admits he was skeptical until he saw this. I love, Aha. love, 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 love this happiness thing. Good, excellent. Why were you skeptical? What was it about the word happy that made you think, hmm? I think when you're in a tough business environment and you're going through many challenges, suddenly to turn up one day and tell people they have to be happy is, is always a maybe a little bit of a challenge. If you turn that into a positive mindset and what that can make you deliver, it's a totally different way of looking at things. It's been astonishing the effect that it has had on bringing the teams together. And uh, did I think it would drive uh, the production and engagement that it has? Probably not. But, you know, when you see a good thing, you want to double down on it. And uh, that's what we're doing. And uh, it seems to be paying off. We have 140,000 associates who belong to Kohl's. Almost 130,000 of them are in the store. That means that every day they're interacting with our customers. And if they're not happy, and if they're not positive, and if they don't have what we in our culture call the yes attitude, we're never going to be able to achieve the financial results that we promised.